What do you want? Oh, I just want love. I just want to be loved. I've been gone for like, well, like three hours this morning and three hours this afternoon, but I came home in between for a bit. So, he's missing me. Huh, don't bite my arm. Abby, do you mind? Don't squeak the toys. Hi guys, so I wanted to make a video on something that... Oh wait. Hey! Now they're both squeaking their toys. All right, we're just gonna ignore them. If they're squeaking, just ignore it. So I wanted to do this video on like a really crappy topic that is something that happens a lot, but nurses don't talk about it enough. And I wanted to like break that stereotype and talk about it because it happened to me and it, it stinks, but I want to talk about it. So you can see by the title of this video, I got my first needle stick. I was giving a patient insulin with the little tiny insulin syringes. It was a 30 gauge, a little tiny needle. And I gave the insulin and I was pulling the insulin needle out. So I was holding, poked, pulled the insulin needle out, went to like slide my thumb to do the little safety cap. And when I was doing that, I just kind of like was pulling my hand back at the same time and I just nicked my finger. You can't even really like, oh, I guess I shouldn't do that. <laughs> I, you can't even really like see the mark anymore. You can, but probably not on camera. And I was wearing gloves. It bled a little bit. I washed my hands immediately. And then I was like, oh my gosh, like now what? What do I do now? It just, these things happen and sometimes it's accident. Well, it's usually always accidental. No one like purposely tries to do it, but sometimes it's our fault. Sometimes it's not our fault. Sometimes it's just the situation. And oh my gosh, the pets are taking over. They're taking over my life. And a lot of nurses, I realize, don't say anything, don't do anything, and they just like keep it a secret because they're embarrassed about getting stuck by a needle. They feel like guilty or embarrassed, like it's their fault. And I mean, I admit this is my fault, and I felt really bad and kind of embarrassed, but immediately I went to my charge nurse and I was like, I just stuck myself with the needle, what do I do? And basically what I do is I had to call this number, which was like our occupational health um, person and they took down my information what happened the time all these things and then um, we had to draw some labs on the patient and that tested for HIV hep B hep C sorry for the squeaking <laughs> and um, those got sent off and the HIV test already came back it was negative which is good and then the hepatitis B and C I will find out those results probably tomorrow and so maybe I'll include the results at the end of this video or something but I I'm not too concerned you know because one insulin needles are subcutaneous so it's not like this needle went directly into my vein Two, I really highly doubt this patient has any you know anything but I guess you never know that should never be your excuse or reason not to get them tested um, the other thing is the do actually after I called the number and gave my information they called a doctor called me back like the intake doctor and and gave me some information she said if the needles infected with HIV it's a 0.3 percent chance that you'll get HIV if that needle goes directly into your bloodstream so it's like a really 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 small chance this patient didn't have HIV I have you know my hepatitis immunization so I'm not like too concerned about that but it's still really scary it's a scary thing and I actually talked to some nurses after it happened that work on my unit and they're like, yeah, it happened to me and the patient was HIV and like hepatitis B and C positive and they were a drug user and you know, I'm fortunate in it. Well, I hope I'm fortunate enough that they don't have, this patient doesn't have anything, but I'm just, you know, I'm grateful that this is what it was and it could have been worse and it's just another reminder to me to slow down. And if anything I want you guys to get from this video is that if this happens to you, say something and go through the proper protocol for your work to, you know, get tested and, you know, get those labs drawn on that patient because the last thing that you want to do is not and then and something, oh God forbid, you know, happens, you know, where you do end up getting HIV or something like that. Or just, you know, it's good to have the peace of mind. If anything, do it for the peace of mind. And don't be embarrassed. Yes, it, it stinks. It's, you know, 
I don't want to, I don't want to say embarrassing because it's so, it's so easy for it to happen, but I felt embarrassed. I felt like, you know, my, maybe my nursing skills weren't that good, but I was just going too fast. It's just another reminder whoop, to slow down. So slow down. And if it happens to you guys, you know, go through the steps and protocols to report it and get those, the patient tested and you tested whatnot. So thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If this has ever happened to you, leave a story in the comments below because if anything, hearing about it happening to other people makes you feel like it's not as uncommon, if that makes sense. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, I just wanted to give a little update on my needle stick results and everything. I just went to occupational health and got my blood drawn and all the hepatitis and HIV tests were negative on the patient that I got the needle stick from. And so they just drew my blood and they're just checking for my hepatitis, um, basically titers, to see if um, they're positive or not. And if they're not, then I can go ahead and give the hep start a new series of the hep B vaccine. Um, and if they are positive, then it's not, you know, a big deal. So, um, but regardless, I'm not going to get anything from this contaminated needle stick, which is good. And I'm just going to be checking my baseline labs just to be extra sure. So thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.